Okay, I'm going to try to explain this solar overhang design calculator that I found online from susdesign.com. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, there's a box over here on the right that you can change different settings. I have the window width set at 3 feet, the window height at 5 feet, and these things aren't actually in feet, but uh, they are in whatever dimension that you want to use, feet, inches, whatever. Uh, for overhang width, as we slide that, you can see that the overhang changes in width. Um, not really important if you're dealing with something that's completely on a wall, but if, a, if it's on the corner, then, then you might want to uh, consider where that corner is going to fall on the window. We can change the horizontal offset to just a little bit. Actually makes it a little bit easier to understand if you have the overhang width a little bit wider than the window and set the offset so that it's close to the center of the window. Uh, I have changed the latitude over here on this. You can move this little slider to whatever latitude your city is. And uh, here in Michigan we happen to be uh, about 43 degrees, 42 to 43 degrees depending on where you are. The window faces, uh, and you can change the direction that the window faces. And we're going to deal with the window that faces on the south. And uh, we can set the date and time that we want to look at down here. So we'll start off with July. Uh, in the middle of July here, we'll say July 15th. And over here on the right, I have this clock set to 24 hour. You can click it for 12 or 24 hour. I think the 24 hour is a little bit easier to understand for the demonstration. And so you can see that as we drag this little slider around the clock, there's a shadow that's shown on the window. And what I'd like to explain that it took me a minute to figure out is that I want you to imagine that we're standing outside the house looking at this window and this is uh, we're going to call this the Sun right here so as the Sun rises and goes over the top of the window and to the other side we get this shading so this shadow that you see on the over the window is from the outside of the window so that's where the window is going to be completely shaded by the sun shining directly above and off here as it sets in the west so with this window facing south it is as if we are facing north so if we change this window orientation to the east down here with this little slider then as we go around the clock this way you'll see that the sun, it says sun is below the horizon, but then as the sun comes up, again coming up over here, you can see that we end up getting quite a bit of shading, and this is in July, so the sun is very high overhead. But if we change this to December, you can see that it's not quite as dramatic. We only get a little bit of shading as the sun comes up. So this will help you plan how how wide you want the windows to be, the window height, and the overhang depth and the height above the window. So where you want the windows to fall on the wall. So if you want to have the windows low, uh, or if you want to have them way up here. So if you have the windows low, then you're probably going to get a lot more sunlight than if you set the windows really high, you're going to get shading from the overhang. Uh, I hope that helps. I'll put a link to the uh, website where this little calculator is shown, and there's also some instructions that you can click on that will, uh, that will bring things up and will explain uh, some of the dimensions and things, but it uh, the important thing to remember is that it's that you're looking at this window from the outside, so you're facing it uh, in the opposite direction that it's facing. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you might be interested in receiving immediate notification of new videos as they are uploaded. This channel is going to contain mostly videos for home builders and home performance professionals. Thank you for watching.